Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add design contracts to your Design Files account and then submit those design contracts out to your client where they can digitally sign it and submit it back to you. Now, sending out a contract for each and every one of your projects is always a good idea because it just makes sure that both you and your client are 100% clear on the terms of your working arrangement. And if a conflict does arise, you have your contract to back you up. So if you want to send design contracts through your design files account, here's how it works. All you have to do is go to the project in question and go to the top where it says more and click on contracts. Now that's going to take you to your contract overview page. And here you're going to see any other contracts that you've sent out to your client and the status of that contract. So you'll see if it's just saved as a draft or if it's been submitted or if it's been signed and the date that it was signed on. And of course, if you want to create a new contract, you can just click the button up here to add a contract. Now that's going to take you into the contract uh, template where you can then add in all of your details. So if you already have a contract in place for your uh, business, you can literally copy and paste the details into this field here and you'll be able to style it so you can bold any text or underline things, add bullets or add links, whatever you want. So just fill in all of your details here. And at the bottom, you're going to see that there's a checkbox where you can require that the clients uh, provide a signature. And at the top, we're just going to give this contract a name. So let's go ahead and we'll call this the Bouchard contract, okay. Now, if I wanted to, let's say that this is a standard residential design contract that um, I often use for my design business. If I wanted to, I could save this contract as a preset and that way any other time I'm going to kick up a residential uh, project within my design files account, I'll be able to load in that preset instead of having to add this contract each and every time. So over here, you could save the preset and you can add in the title for this particular contract. Now, when you do that, you'll see here that there's an option to load a preset. And if I click here, you're going to see that I've got my residential design contract, my commercial design contract and my e-design contract. And I can just load any of those in anytime I want to create a new project. So down at the bottom here, now that we've added in all of our details, you can uh, save this as a draft or you can save it as a draft and preview it. And of course, you can send it off to your client. If you want to see what it looks like, save it as a draft and preview it, and that'll open up the preview where you can review your contract. Down at the bottom here, you can see that the client's going to have to click the checkbox here. They're going to add in their signature and, and uh, click the button to sign the contract. So if you like the look of this, go ahead and close out of the preview mode. And we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to send this contract off to the client. Now their email address is already added here. So you can see that this particular client has been added and you can add in your own subject line for the email and you can add in your own uh, message to the email and you can send the contract off to your client. Now when you do that, the client's going to get an email. That email is going to be branded to your business and it's just going to have a simple message that says your contract is ready for review. Click here to access it. So let's pop over to the client facing mode here. And I'm just going to hit refresh on the page and we're going to go into this particular project. So let's say I'm the client. I clicked on that link in the email and it's going to take me directly into that particular contract for that project. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into the actual contract here. So this is the one we just submitted. So your client would pop right into this contract where they can read it. And at the bottom here, they're going to check the box and they're going to sign their name. Whoop, helps if I spell it correctly. Okay, over here we've got the date and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the button to sign this contract. So it's showing as signed on my end. And now if I go back into my designer facing account, so let's just pop back there for a second. I'm going to refresh the page here and you'll see that both of these contracts are now showing as signed. And if I want to go in, I can view the contract, go to the bottom and I can see that Samantha has in fact signed off on this one. And we are now ready to move forward with this project. 
So definitely have a look at this uh, new feature. It's going to be a great addition for any of the projects that you create within your Design Files account. Sending out a contract to your client and getting them to sign off on that protects you and your business. And it also makes sure that both you and your client are 100% clear on the terms for your working arrangement, which you always, always want. It's better to have full transparency so no questions pop up. So if you do have any questions at all about this feature, just reach out. We're always happy to help. And thanks so much for watching.